Hey there, team. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's been a wee while since we've done a full blast stage. I might be wrong in that, but uh, we will rattle into this one. It looks like a good versus evil, and I'm pretty sure it is. We've got a run here, led by Beastie, so he's got his dragons. Interesting choice. The general in with the crossbows. Don't know how I feel about this, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Camel's chosen there. Then Flagrim. More Flagrim. Hey, Gamprim lines. East Strong Crossbows. Nice and armor upgraded. East Strong Crossbows. Shadow Bows. Shadow Guard. Shadow Guard. And East Strong Warriors with those armor upgrades. By, by that, I mean one level of armor upgrade. In front of them, Baltro Tribesman. And then Flagrim. Flagrim. Dragon's Wrath Crossbows over there now. Scion Ram and some Warlords. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, we can see, we can see, I don't know, don't know how I feel. Y2K again, so he's got his Ripple. Guardians of Carndom with those armor upgrades, so they will be menacing. Uh, Ballista, there. Ikes, again, armor upgrades. Gundabad Guard, who, yeah, they've definitely received some. I struggle to tell how much. Double. Uh, again, probably armor upgraded. Then Blackwatch Legion, again armor upgraded. Hammer Guard, armor upgraded. Goodness me. And more double Blackwatch Legion. No, that's just one unit. Um, yeah, Y2K, and he's going to probably have Snaga. Yeah, we're seeing them. Uh, Barrow White, Snaga, Archers. Okay, um, still very expensive, very elite army from Y2K. Uh, we've got Buzzard over here so he's got his rudar marksman horrendadine berserkers double troll hunters rudar swords fraudrum jabs some dunman spears oh nice look at these boys oh good i never take dunman spears uh then rudar clansman more rudar clansman double swords it's not like i've got anything against dunman spears i just don't don't use them then second last we've got check norris so he's got his umbara forces so, Harbourings Castamere, Shield Guard, lots of Alcrondas Legion, some Sentinels, Footman, Belagal Footman, uh, Corsair Boys, Corsair Black Guards there, and some Warlords of Umbar. Okay, good, good, good. Um, I, I like, I like, yeah, okay, we're not seeing any Cav. I like the amount of Cav we've got for the attackers. This is nice. Orc Fodder, Orc Archers there, Temple Executioners there with the armor upgrade. Yep. And then the Urat Captains. Nice and spread out Urat Captains today. Orc Javis. I guess he's just worried about getting immediately blasted by by fire. This is TC1351. I'll just be calling him TC. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you're kind of safe over here, but it's fair enough to spread you guys out. The Naz School are there. More non infantry. Orc Maulers without any armor upgrades. I'm sorry. Thought we, thought we had them armored up, but we do not. And that's that for the attackers. Okay, so we got a lot of numbers. I like I like the factions. I like good versus evil. It's always it's always nice. It's always nice when you got good versus evil. You got some sort of theme to the battle. But um, in addition to that, we do have a little bit of cav um, for the attackers to defend themselves. Uh, Stegri Stegri Four is one of the defenders today. So he's got his troll slayers. Dunedain Rangers, some Marksmen, Warns the North, Peacekeepers, uh, more Peacekeepers, Pikes, the Numinous Gate Guard, and Forest Aaron Knights there. So of course he was setting up to cross the bridges, but I think Stegris was probably still a bit new at this point. Crossing those bridges is a bit tricky, so it's fair enough just to cross the land bridge. Um, don't know if we've got a Grace or not, but... Uh, probably do valkyrians over here with the gondor blob uh, we'll try and have a look at this after but he's got his fountain guard there gondorian infantry we're seeing a lot of armor upgrades axman lasanak yes yeah, spear guard there not spear guard sorry gondorian spears Athelian rangers now and gondorian infantry yes yeah, some more gondor spears a lot not uh Pelican marines yeah not anything like incredibly elite but it looks like everything's received a lot of armor upgrades it's nice. I, I like Plagondor like that. It's it's pretty solid. And the Fountain Guard, of course, will be a menace. Uh, once again, we've got Gondor and Arthodyne on the defense. Same as the last battle we had. And instead of Lothlorien uh, uh, siding alongside them, we have Mirkwood. So it's another uh, it's another Wood Elf. Uh, Proximate Centuri is taking that role. So he's got his Hiri Peng, double Hiri Peng. Uh, some Elders of the Elven King. 
Kiri lying in the back here. Elder, Elden King Palace Guard with the armor upgrade too. Uh, Woodland Protectors, the Ents are alongside them. Then Hirioth, double Hirioth, triple Hirioth even. Then Blades of Emondwear, Blades of Emondwear. And we put down some stakes as well. Anything up on here? No, nothing yet, but it looks like the Hiri Peng are going to be coming around to do that. Immediately, TC is actually coming across those bridges, which is all right. Um, during a grace period, yeah, during a grace period, I think it's fair enough to move up to that level. But you wouldn't want to get any closer than that, I feel. Um... Still, there might not be a grace. Who knows? Who knows? 42,000 frames. Pretty pretty decent length for a total for last. It's not raining again, is it? No, it's a bit... Oh, it's raining. Damn. Jesus Christ. I want some nice weather in my battles for a while. Just give me some nice sunshine. Something, something pleasant. Because it's been rainy for so, so long in my fights. I actually think the last siege of Longbottom, I don't actually think it rained at all. So... I, I I was given one I was given one day of peace, but no, the rain is back now. Um, yeah, shuffling everything. Valkyrian's coming on over here. He's moving. Yeah, Stegri's moving a bit slower too. I think there must be a bit of a grace. Anything fancy we're spotting here? We're seeing some. Yeah, Pelagon Marines. I like them. Um, been playing a lot of. Uh, well, actually, I've not been playing for a little while. But you know, full invasion uh, mod for Mountain Blade doing a lot of the the lord of the rings version of that so you need to you can pick one of the uh lord of the rings races or or factions and you're you're holding out against hordes of orcs or, or akai from isengard or something and i always like to choose the the pelagra marine class one because i think it looks gorgeous and then two um i love to just hurl my jabs down at the at the orcs as they try and climb up the ladder just doof 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 um played a lot of mountain blade back in the day but i'm not cut out for for going toe to toe with hordes of npcs i'm afraid not all at once can take them on one one at a time no problem uh tc uh holden here yeah so he's got triple orc fodder which i appreciate i like to take three orc fodder when i'm attacking with mordor and um yeah he'll, he'll just be begging for some shots but uh proximus into your eyes not gonna give it to him so if he comes across there, the Blades of Emondor will slice those guys apart very, very efficiently. They will love to do that. Um, oh, I could have put shadows on, couldn't I? I was going to I was gonna do a Dale Siege. Uh, I was going to record a Dale Siege right now, but I realized it was actually one that I'd already recorded. So um, when I do play Dale, I like to, to turn off the shadows just so that it's a little bit more clear. I can't do that here, can I? No, I can't. Yeah, we can get some grass. Let's get some grass today. I don't usually have grass. Oops, the daisies. Didn't actually save it. I don't usually have grass in my battles, but it makes sense to maybe have it on um, on Toll for Lass. I just don't usually like, like, let's see, because grass ends up popping up where it's, eh, no, it's okay here, actually. Yeah, in some maps, grass just tends to pop up where you don't really want it, kind of like here, yeah, on this road, and yeah, this is all grass now. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll hold on to it for now. It's, it's slightly, you know, the, um... Groundskeepers have not really been able to tend to a flask recently because it's been under attack so much, I suppose. Um, yeah, attackers just still giving a bit of breathing room to the defenders. As o well, not as always. I don't want to say as always. Um, there, sh there might be, if we do have to wait a little while longer, there might be a message in the chat. Not in the chat. <laughs> in the description, there might be a, a point where it's like, hey, yeah, battle starts at x and that'll be like so you just jump straight to the first shot being fired or something like that but uh but i don't really like to do cuts because i like to see how people are moving i i've never really seen this little part be used of this hill i guess it does actually provide you a nice little sheltered position but yeah and here these hiri pen can jump out whenever they want oh goodness me they are they're flooding into here it's a good thing they don't have any uh artillery on the defense to uh to rain hell on them as they're a bit too clumped up there but uh yeah when they when the defenders do not bring any re which is surprising considering we've got two treb factions and we didn't we didn't decide to take one fair enough though fair um oh goodness me this fountain guard is not too sure what he's doing he's part of this unit i suspect but uh oh well He'll, he'll sort himself out in a moment. He'll, he'll, he'll be all right. He'll be all right. Um, hmm, it'll be cool if we get some Ent versus Olakai battling going on at some point in this fight. We'll, uh, 
I'll have to keep an eye out for that. They'll both be about the same area. I always like when we've got like an elf in the... I always see the elves like tend to focus on the Valley, valley of Death for some reason. I think it's probably, it's probably because that's where you get the most out of your range units. Uh, but of course, in this case, it might have just been because he deployed over there. He's going to need some help, yeah. So Stegri's heading some, uh, some of his boys over. But uh, we have quite a normal split of three enemy attackers coming this way and two um, attackers coming down the valley. Uh, usually what I like to do is actually only have one and basically one and a half. My favorite place to deploy in Tophilas is here because I always like to have half of my army go left and half of my army go right. Um, having two armies come down the Valley of Death can sometimes be a bit dicey. It means you've got a little more, you've got a few more numbers to spend there. Oh, yeah, uh, once again, I've asked this before, and I think it is just meant to be like a rope. I think it's just meant to be like they've, they've got ropes on their backs. But like, what is that? I think it is. Yeah, now that I'm really looking at it, I think it's just like a, just like they've got a, a ring of rope just on their on their hip to, to grab onto. That's fair enough. Um, no defenders using up here. Yeah, okay, no, we've definitely got a brace. Let me just jump up to, to two times speed for a minute. Don't really want to go to time sticks. Um, I'd be surprised if he didn't use this. But actually, with those Pelagar, Pelagar archers there, they don't really want to uh, use this spot. And those Belagor archers from Czech Norse are just begging to be shot at, really. You know, if you're if you're gonna use here, then he's just, he's gonna shoot you with his Belagor archers. But if you um, if you try to shoot back, then that's exactly what he wants. Like they're they're the perfect skirmish archer. Looks like Arthodine marksmen from Stegri is, are coming up here though. Troll slayers lurking around, rangers there not too far off. Two units of Arthodine marksmen could take him out, of course, but it would just be. Uh, Arguably spread out like that, be a waste of ammunition. I don't know. I don't know. Winded now from that journey, but they should have more than enough time to get uh, to get fully rested up. Stary's so got a few defenders on the bridge. I'm interested to see how this plays out because every tall for last siege, I always find ends. Well, it always goes a little bit differently. I love this map. I really think this is one of the one of the finest sort of finely crafted maps that we we have for sieges. And um, you know, because every every fight, you know, it, it can follow a certain pattern totally, but you always see it go a little bit differently. People focusing a little bit more in different areas. Like sometimes, a lot of the time, nobody ever crosses a bridge. Other times, you know, the bridges are the main focus, and the land bridge is sort of ignored. Um, no, that's a bit crazy but you know i've seen it happen and then you know you you come across the land bridge for a while you cross the bridge you know the the valley of death doesn't get touched until the last two seconds of the battle and then uh, it floods so i'm i'm interested to see uh interested to see how it goes having mordor on the attack here means that they can come across uh the, well they can come through the valley a lot earlier than normal because they've got those numbers and they've got two armies over there okay we're actually starting properly now so yep nine thousand frames we are beginning set of guard oh bang. i mean it's unfortunate but he could do much worse with that ballista was that were those accidental shots why took her no, I don't think so. YDK is not the type of guy to make mistakes like that, so I don't. Th um, I can see the sense in it, but no, like, oh, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> there I am saying like, oh, he's only good on maybe one or two Citadel Guard, isn't he? But no, he's actually rinsed a lot of these boys, and they are, they are, they're all, whoa, they're like Pelagon Marines. I think they're Pelagon Marines. Yeah. Uh, even maybe none of them is no troll slayers surely surely no troll slayers here i think they're just pillar marines oh, ouch wait no those are spears um, oh well anyway yeah we've actually taken quite a few more losses from that from that ballista fire than i thought so yeah good good shooting good shooting actually one percent casualties noise 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 well we did see proxima centuri how oh, he's re reorganized a bit orc fodder archers orc fodder i want to see some more non infantry maybe maybe some more non infantry coming over here um woodland realm patrol opening up into who oh holding fire no they're not 
into the Belgar Arches, maybe? Scrunched up like this. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty brutal. But as I say, like, they're made for this. They're made to take this damage. So if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. TC's actually running back from the from the blades of MN Tuir. I don't know, man. Like, hmm. Yeah, he's running back over here too. Yeah. Um. Hmm. <laughs> well, good aggressive display from Proxima. Yeah. See, I I like I like my more non infantry. They're good. They're um. Well, they're not great, but you know, they could do some work. And backed up by a lot of orc fodder, yeah. Uh, so I guess, like, falling back, he just wants to shoot at these guys. They're lightly armoured. They've got that nice little shield on them. Um, but especially shooting them in the back, as, they, as they're doing over here, too. Very nice. Very nice. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, the um, attackers can be kind of happy with that. Kind of happy with that in these early stages. You don't want to come in too hard. Maybe I, I think I'm getting a bit too bold over there. Just let, let's have a nice long skirmish fight. We've not actually had a, had a proper full skirmish engagement. From the from the attackers for a while. I guess that Rivendell fight there, they did use up most of their ammunition, but like Yeah, a lot of the time in these attacks we've just been seeing people see dude ah well yeah, you know, get get one of the units out. Fair, fair, fair. But these these double armor upgraded Gondorian spears, it's like oh god, it, it tickles. You're absolutely you know, ouch, ouch, snag up, please, no, stop. It, it's not gonna do anything. Oh, those crossbows though. That's another story. Definitely another story. But you don't really want to be firing in the front of a Gondorian Spearman anyway, because of that shield value. Uh, we've got these axe throwers too. Oh, that's a shame. I would have... I would have really wanted to yeet an axe thrower or two over to Mirkwood, because they are the bane of Mirkwood's existence. Are you actually are you doing this, Buzzard? I don't know about this, Buzzard. Hmm. 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 I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you need to, you need to, to damage the lion, I guess. But I, I think Bulgarian can be pretty happy with that. Um, I think you can be pretty happy. With that, in all honesty, I think Buzz is maybe getting a little bit too excited. Maybe just a wee bit. Maybe just a wee bit too excited right now. I, and I think he's stopped. I think he's realised that that's maybe, maybe not the finest chance just yet just hold just hold you get some beautiful pl like just get over here and when the fighting starts hit them, hit them when they're nice and clumped up together and even then like jeepers it's it's gondor and arthodyne over here it's not going to be fun for those axe throwers i'd love to get them over here where they can just rain some hell into these nice and lightly armored uh woods wood elves oh Ooh, alone alone though I don't know about this. See, you get some more than infantry mixing up amongst them. They'll they'll be pretty happy, but of course more than infantry will probably get shredded on the on the Oh, oh, okay. You're an interesting early arrival, Alcrondas Legion. Um, you're not attracting any fire just yet. We're running. We're running. We're running. We're seeing arrows coming. But what are those arrows going for, eh? Boof, boof, boof. No, you're going for the Orc Archers. Which, yeah, yeah, you'll you'll rinse them. You will rinse the Orc Archers. I guess the Alcrondas Legion is nicely armoured and shielded. And he's just like, yeah, stuff that. I'm not using my ammunition on them. But if they can arrive in time and fight side by side with the Orc Fodder. Absolutely gorgeous display. Oh my goodness me. Look at this. Oh, check Norris. That's beautiful. That's really nice. Yeah. Oh, dear me. Um... The Ents. This is going interestingly. This is a, this is some some strange early stages, but no, yeah, I I think he could be very pleased with with this positioning. Uh, shooting these blades of image at close range in the back like this, he can't answer to them without sending in another unit, which he has done, which is good. If he wants to hold this position, he needs to send forward something like that just to bugger these guys away. Um, but yeah, good stuff, and yet even that little bit of damage, but now the Alcrondas Legion showing up, even just the captain, I like that, the entire unit's going off to the right, the captain's like, I'll, I'll 1v47 these guys, don't worry, don't worry, oh god, he's gonna go down, he's brave though, I appreciate his bravery, um, yeah, here we are chasing those guys away, almost broke it, almost breaking them, almost breaking them too, uh, Orc Archers is taking a real beating, but again, 
I think TC can be happy about that. Like, they're not even mourn on archers. They're just, yeah. They're they're made to die. Um Snagger Archers getting here point blank. Snagger Oh, they're out. They are out. Boys. We've maybe got too much up here. We've maybe got too much up here. I'd maybe I mean I think yes, you know if you tried to run down there they'd blast you. I think we maybe had a bit too much here right from the start. Um because those ooh, he's getting closer and closer with that ballista fire. And one good slice right through the fountain guard. That is um that would be horrific to see. And think about that ballista, like once they get set up here, doof, 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 they start raking down the down the line. It really is gonna hamper the way the defenders can actually hold this position. And this is why, like, I'd love to see a I mean, imagine a treb, just like Elam, bam, bam, bam. Just dead. He would have been long dead. A million years ago. Um just as soon as it leaves like Gundabad or wherever it's being built, it's just like Pow. Um You've got a shiny helmet, man, man. We're opening up. I'd love to see those those crossbows dead. Which I think is what he's going for. And we're just kind of missing and hitting the, the snag archers. I don't, really, don't want to be shooting the snag archers myself. I know, I can't. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't. Responding. Telegram Marines. Even, like, the axemen are so heavily armored that, like, snag archer fire is just bouncing off them, really. Uh, I think it's bait. I think those archers are bait. You need to maybe ignore them. Orc pod are actually broken there. The Ents coming forward to provide some uh, some organization to this. Now that they hear it off, alongside still some of the blades of MN Dweer are here. These Alcronus Legion are struggling. Can we get some or Like, as I say, once again, I keep talking about the more non-infantry. Um, but yeah. Blackguard actually managed to get some jabs into the Ents, but they're going to get massacred here. Unless we get... Ooh, and that's going to mean that the Ents have a free pass into the Orc Archers if they want to take it. That might be pushing a little bit too far, though. As the Warlords of Umbar appear. Ooh. Ah, the stakes. The stakes are there. Um, Had it not been for the stakes, though, genuinely. Those uh, those Warlords could be odd tier here. A lot of Orc fodder. Just uh, more puppets left of those, uh, those Blades of Em and Weir. Another Alcarondas Legion pushing on around here, but these guys are going to get smashed. Orc Archers, not out of ammunition. Um, oh dear, hopefully they don't break. Don't get back, Snapchat Norris, please. You've been doing so well. Um, I don't think, he, I think he's going to be okay. Uh, on infantry, okay, 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 okay. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, did you guys, have there been, hmm. Are they out of range? No way. I think they might be. This is the issue with using a cheaper unit of archers to do this. You can't actually reach them sometimes. I'd maybe squish them together and get them right up here, because surely that's... It's not far out of range if it is. They're opening up into... Oh, good. Oh, horrendous berserkers myself. See, I wouldn't go for them. I, I feel troll hunters can take can take a bit of a beating. I'd, I'd really prefer to go for the horrendous berserkers. Yeah, man. Nah. Like, that's that's the whole thing about what I love so much about the Atmor Troll Hunters. Like, they're amazing. Well, they're great javelins. Um, but they have got that nice shield value, and they have got some decent armor. So if you try to shoot them to try and destroy their ability to javelin you to death, you're going to waste so much ammo. Are we going for these guys now? Whereas, like, the Herendine Berserkers are going to be quite important in melee, too, you know? What are we opening up into? Now we're holding fire now. Oh! Ballista. Ballista. Nori. Okay. Right. Eastron Warriors there. Oh, the Barrowites have made good time, actually, getting all the way over here. I guess it is 15,000, well, almost 16,000 frames, but they, they had a long way to move. They had a long, long way to march. Goblin Band here. Fight on the some Snaga Arches. Yeah, the Gondorians will love that fight. Barrowites, though, we don't have much AP here. We've got no AP here. So, it's going to be slow. Um, the Barrowitz is going to inflict some casualties even, I think. But uh, but the Gondorians should hold quite nicely. The only thing, additional issue, will be the fear that's causing. 
Oh, we're close with these crossbows, Beastie. I don't know who we're... Who are we going for here? Yeah. Rudar and Mark's been opening up from Buzzard. Good bit of ammo on those guys. Buff, buff, buff. Yeah, I guess if you can get some lob shots into this, it's not bad. Especially Axe, that'd be beautiful. Zoom, 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 zoom. Yeah, just holding there the pikes. Born on infantry, kind of struggling now, but there are Ents and Hirioth around them. I, like, the way, that, I keep talking about Born on Infantry, and I, I should probably justify that. I, I love to use Moron on Infantry alongside Old Fodder, you know, either together, uh, well, preferably together, that's the, you know, alongside, but um, in addition to that, I love to use them to kind of fight spearmen, you know, when you see a, when you see a human defending something, a human faction, hopefully we're all humans here, um, defending a faction, defending a, a settlement or whatever, they like to usually put a spearman up front. And it's usually probably a mid to low tier spearman. And something like the Mormon Infantry can get some really good efficiency against a um, against one of these mid to low tier spears. A malicious spear or something like that. Because they don't suffer that spear mass, because they have a lot of numbers, if they get shot at, you're not too worried about that. Either. So I always like to use my, my Mormon Infantry for that. Oh, can we get... I think we probably were trying to, but I, I should we can get another charge there, Shake Norris? I'm sure he's probably giving it a go, you know. Um, you got to keep in mind, like, I've not actually been able to play this game too much recently. A lot of my instincts will be a little bit off, you know. Um, I do need to play this a lot more than I do right now. Which, um, but hopefully I'm still on some sort of point with my, with my, um, announcements. Uh, ooh, Woodland Realm Patrol, we don't want to see these guys getting shot. Jeepers, we really don't want that. Oh! The hell? A lot of them died there. Jeez, oh. Work fodder broken running into us. It's not, yeah, it's not the end of the world. For Mordor, but it's good to see. It's good to see. Still, we don't want to see those guys getting hit. They're getting shot up, and that is not good. The Barrowites are enjoying that engagement. Can we, do we have any... No, like that's the annoying thing. Like the only, the only good armor piercing we've really, well, the only, eh, to be honest, no, I'd, I'd maybe send a Citadel guard. I guess. I mean, it be, they javelin the Citadel. I'd, I'd still, I'd probably send a Citadel guard forward, just so that we can deal with these, um, these Barrowites. Um, and I think we need another unit on the front line anyway. We're getting it. We're getting a little bit too broken up, and the Shadow Guard are arriving now. So I think sending a Citadel Guard, it, it's two birds with one stone. Um, you know, provides a bit more, a few more numbers line, and it also uh, gives a good unit to kill the Barrowites. I love, I've, I always, I don't know, there's just something nice about seeing those really long range shots when like the, um, the Dragon's Breath Cannon or a Ballista misses its target and it just goes on for ages. I do enjoy when the uh, Dragon Breath Cannon bounces off something and just yeets itself into space, and then you see it come down a while later. That's always fun. Okay, you know, yeah, Stegri's got to leave something on these. Uh, so yeah, three units of Arthodine men at arms is a okay. Uh, but I'd be tempted. Ooh, where are those where are those warlords? Yeah, it's just marksmen. It's just it's just Arthur and I marksmen. And then it's I know they can come in with all this, but like I would be really tempted if I was beastie just to come bam. Just like one or two good charges with those with those warlords could be absolutely cast. They're right here too. He's got them right there. I because you can that heavily armored and shielded, you can shrug off a lot of uh, a lot of arrow fire. So hmm. We saw the end. I think we saw like the last end. Oh no, no, there is still one fighting. I do need to get a get a screenshot. So that's, that's something like that looks quite cool. Actually, the end, just sort of the final end, battering his way through, and he's dropped there. Yeah. Um. So that was a useful tool for the defenders. And Proxima Centuria has been really aggressively defending this area, which is super, and it has resulted in a lot of casualties for the attackers. So. I don't know, but he's he's kind of deleting himself. It's gonna leave Stegri 
defending this. I guess he does still have a lot in reserve to, to back him up, but... Yeah, okay. I don't know, getting a little bit... Here he are done. They'll be coming around too. Almost halfway through this battle now. Spearman, Flagrim there, armor piercing. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, see, it's another infantryman coming up now. And I just don't think that's what we need. I think we need a Citadel Guard. I know that people don't like to send their, their, their more elite units. They like to start at the bottom and move up and respond to problems with the lowest tier unit that can effectively deal with them. But I just... And I, I, I do get myself into states sometimes because I'm like, okay, what can deal with this problem? Grab it from the top. Suddenly my, my Elven King Palace Guard are smashing them down. And it's like... And that's great for the short term, but Valkyrian is, of course, thinking about the long, long term here. And although he is struggling on this front line now, keeping his better quality units safe is going to, yeah, from crossbow fire, from anything else that could really deal with them, and just from general battle, uh, battle damage, is is going to be useful. So and that ballista is too. Oh. Good bit of Oh, that's a break. That's a big. You know, it's a. It was almost 50 spears. Almost 50 spears just broke there. I I think the boys can be very happy with that. And yeah, Valkyrian is going to be sweating. Keep in mind, he's, he's... There's no Arthodyne men here. This is Valkyrian. This is a, this is Valkyrian alone over here now. I know that um, Stegri's got a lot of the attention on him. But he is holding back, you know, three armies... And his marksman Carandros have just used up their ammo. Dunedain Rangers from Stegri. Good, that's what we need. That is definitely what we need. These marksmen are done too, aren't they? Oh dear. Um, hmm. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, they, uh, they, the Axemen of Rudauer have seen that as their opportunity to flood on end. Citadel Guard coming in now, but... Citadel Guard are coming in on the right flank, which is the most dangerous spot for that ballista. Yeah, I don't know about this. I mean, I know something needs to plug up that gap, but I would have maybe wanted... If I could have taken the time, I would have loved to take the Pelagra Marines there and the Citadel Guard in the center. Because I just feel that's maybe where they'll be a bit more effective. But we do have the Dismounted Forest Air Knights. Good. Stegri did need to get some troops here. And he has seen that, so he's coming on in. That's very nice. Kiri Peng from Proxima Centuri coming in. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. See, see if we can uh, get some more info. Technorse is flooding in now. Yeah, so this, this outer area has fallen. A lot of wood elves have died. A lot of Ents too, of course. But, uh, but the orcs and evil men have suffered in kind. And it looks like they're going for a... Yeah, good. I mean, we see this a lot now. I always used to see the defense happening here. But I think people definitely have realized that defending the town is actually a lot more powerful because you can put your archers here. You can shoot the enemy in the, in the back, which is what the elves of the Elven King are moving up to do. You can plug up these more now. Even though it's two choke points instead of one, the actual area is... You know, it's it's yeah, it's less space because it's very this very very tight choke point. I mean, God, that's horrendously, that's horrendously brutal to push through. And then here too, this is very tight as well. So yeah, you can hold them here and here, and then even you don't really want to fall back further than that because then they're then they're inside the the town proper, and yeah, that's when you start having some problems. I'm surprised though, because we got buzzards and more troll hunters here. Nah, nah, you don't... Hmm. Nah, 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 nah. You don't be throwing your jabs into these guys. Definitely not. Um, not unless you, you know, you hit in their, their right side or their back. Of course, that could be really nice. Xmanola Sanak coming on forward now. And, oh god, they're really not having a good day. But I guess it's the Shadow Guard. No, there's only a few Shadow Guard left. I don't know why they're struggling. This is a beautiful little fight for them. Just breaking open the the barrel whites, but I guess oh we're seeing some. No, I don't I don't really know what's causing them so much trouble. Belgar Marines here. We're getting some good shots. Oof. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing okay there. Getting these guys bashed down. Rude our swordsmen though. Nice and aggressive man, of course. Bet um, 
Yeah, they're not going to worry about the Axemen or Sanak. Uh, but the Forest Arrow Knights are going to be good for cutting them down. Few here, you all have actually broken trying to run all the way over here. They might uh, reorganize themselves. Do we have any cap defense? Oh, I don't really think we do. I, I'm just, I mean, again, Y2K wouldn't do this if there was, but like. But saying that, no, the Warlords. Yeah, the Dragon's Wrath Warlords would be on you. Nah, nah, don't, 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 no. And you'd be getting shot. It wouldn't be worth it, wouldn't be worth it. I like, to, I like to imagine. I like to imagine situations, but you know, sometimes you you gotta you gotta limit yourself. Pelagar Marines here. Not Pelagar Marines. Pelagar Archers. Uh, just two archers and a very bloodied officer there. Um, yeah, they've done very well. I think I well, if this is the unit that I think it is, this is the backstabbing force. So I'm more than happy if they just want to chill out for a while, get their energy back, and and uh, yeah, a few medals for them if. Uh, the attackers are victorious here. God, ouch. What did this? Quick little massacre there. Deary me. Orc Javis, still with the Javs. You, only 40 more in an infantry. So they've come across here and they have suffered for it, as I say, but there's still or a lot of Orc Maulers. Still a few of the Warlords. The Harbringers are alive. Back here we've got the Pikes and the Olakai. Aptons too, alongside the executions. A lot of elites and the Nazgul are totally untouched. We definitely want to see those Nazgul go toe to toe with one of the more elite. Like the Elven King Palace Guard, beautiful. They would they would have a nice fight up against them. Okay, Noi, Noi. Are you gonna? I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like right, so check Norris. Right to the face though. Okay, They're, they they dropped from that really hard. I mean, a lot of the time with assassin units, I end up throwing them into melee before they've actually used up all of their ammo. So even if you can't use it super duper effectively, um, you know, a big a big part of their cost is actually just being in melee. So you know, it's fair enough, I think. Just just get them get them used. But I'd prefer to see them getting used on something a bit nicer than Belagar footmen, not from the front anyway. As I say, that little shield value will help. I'm surprised by this. Usually the Fountain Guard coming forward to the front line will almost always, um, you know, just sort it out for Gondor. They really are Gondor's, like, panic button in sieges. When you're attacking or defending, if you can get a nice, healthy unit of Fountain Guard into the fight, that's it sorted. And, okay, maybe it took a minute. Okay, this, oh, beautiful. Back here. This, this Barraway is in a bad, he's, he's in for some trouble, I think. This fountain guard should tear him apart. Um, even a little one v one fight there. Now, it'll take him some time, but you know he'll do it. Damn, fountain guard, come on! It's not like this is a perfect engagement for the fountain guards. A lot of trash. There's a lot of barrel whites. They should they should be loving this, but they're not. Over here to their flank, the Citadel guard are backing them and dismount forced down knights. It's not like their trash is letting them down. Oh well, even getting some javelin support. It's crazy. What we got up here? Veterans of Asgiliath tearing some shots in. Uh, double armor upgrades for the boys today. To their left, Dunedain Rangers too, Jerry me. What are we at now anyway? 39 for 35. Um, attacker's down a little bit at this stage, but that's okay. I think that it's normal to be down right now as an attacker. Usually as an attacker, you're kind of down for the entire battle until like the very end. So these guys will have a tremendous amount of ammunition to use up. So yeah, you can kind of just let them fire away. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. Into the Orc Chaves. Okay. Sure, sure. No, no way. No major issue with that. I think I can see the sense in that. Especially considering they're getting some good jabs right into the face of these poor Arthurite pikemen. So that's a... Uh, yeah, you need to get that sorted. I think that, in all honesty... You can batter that down. Nah, the Alcaranus Legion. I was gonna. I was pondering like moving forward to say something like Huey Peng, kill those more than infantry, and then get in amongst the Orc Orc Javes just to chase them away. Maybe kill. Well, hopefully kill them, but rout them. Um, because on Tolfalas, routing can usually be a death sentence. It's very rare. There's a lot of siege maps where I see like an, a unit is gonna rout, and it's like, okay, they're probably gonna come back. But on Tofalas, usually you'll end up routing into the enemy at some point. 
So yeah, you're just a goner. I think, speaking of a goner, I think this line is gone. Uh, troll Slayers, oh, you want to use up those jabs. Please use up those jabs. Another unit of Fountain Guard though. And Valkyrian is wanting to hold this tooth and nail right now. Stegri's got both his Troll Slayers. And these Citadel Guard here too. If they can, yeah, they're going to make them pay for it, but I'll go all, like, Y2K is still really healthy. They've actually, BC set up these guys really far back here. Um, what I always like to do is just send something up here and just give a quick walk up. Oh, God, not probably not all the way up to there, but just give a quick walk up to, yeah, no, you can't, you can't walk up there. Just give a quick walk up to there and then walk back. Um... Especially if you're up against Arthodyne. Uh, and, but Arthodyne didn't spawn there. No, it was Gondor. Because uh, you can really get the Grey Company like hidden up there and really cause some damage uh, in the later game. Troll Slayers raining hell. And it'd be nice to get those Troll Slayers into melee, of course. So I think he is being a bit more free with their jabs right now. Oh god, these poor Fountain Guard getting... Yeah, they're getting marched around now by the Gundabad Guard. But they'll do what they can. Backed up still by the veterans of Zgaliath from the hilltop. No attack on the bridges yet. But it looks like we might... Oh! TC! What are you doing over here? These Minas Morgul Chosen. You don't see the Minas... Well, I, do, I, I just don't know. I was going to say you don't really see the Minas Morgul Chosen all that much, but... Yeah, maybe... I do like them. I was, I was, it was one of these units that, in all honesty, when I saw the picture of the new Minas Morgul Chosen, I, I genuinely was like, oh quite like the current Minas Morgul Chosen. I don't know if I, I don't really want them to change, but then when you see them in practice and everything, yeah, they, they look gorgeous. So no, I'm, I'm not a fan of change. I don't know if I, if that's too clear. I don't think I've talked about that before. I'm a very stubborn man. So, so you've really got to, you've got to sit me down sometimes and say like, look, Ryan, this is better. This is nice. <laughs> Just because it's changed doesn't mean it's bad. Uh, Dinodyne Rangers moving up here. There you go. Solid. Um, maybe they've even gathered an experience point for their for their damage. Uh, Peacekeepers coming on in too. Okay, so it really is falling down to Stegri now to to keep this rigid. Troll Slayer is actually having a lot of difficulty here. That surprises me. Ah, uh, dearie me. I think the the attackers still have a lot of elites. Is the issue? Fountain Guard reorganized now. They're doing good, but even they're still getting stabbed in the back by going to bad guard. Peacekeeper's there now. They are coming in to do some damage. Probably received an armor upgrade. They don't visually change when they receive an armor upgrade. But, um, but they'll do some work all the same. Oh, um, uh, sorry. Yeah, more troll hunters now. Yeah, they've saved their jabs. It looked early on like Buzzard was going to be a bit bold with his ammunition and really kind of hurl it around almost willy-nilly. But no, he's he's relaxed with it now. Okay, yeah, I think TC, what happened there was TC tried to order his men across, like, all the way to the end. And he just didn't really, um, you know, forgot how bridges work, really. So, what's always good is you just order them here and then you order them there. That's why the total flask bridges over this end are really nice. Because they do have this additional little area. Um, so the AI doesn't get confused when you give them the order. Hmm, I don't know. What, what shot do we have here? I actually think we've got a good one, don't we? Okay. Beautiful, beautiful shot here. Oh, that's nice. That's very unfortunate for Proxima Centuri. Um, yeah, he's seen it. He's fallen back. The thing is, you fall back, they've kind of... They can widen it up into this three point. Then you can attack them from three points. Mm, I don't know. And they've got some jabs there. The guys just have to take the... You know, just bide their time. They've already gained some good ground. But... Um, that ballista. Whoop! Nah, that's unlucky. That's an unlucky uh, shot there, uh, Y2K. But I'm surprised that this ballista's still got ammunition. He must be on his like last few shots now. Okay, these guys are set up. Oh no, yeah, I thought they were ready to go. Okay. Yeah, I know. Good stuff, Y2K. Very good stuff. Still raining hell. Oh, tribesmen. Poor boys. Even with that armor upgrade, they will get eradicated. Um, I love them with. I love the look of them with them without the armor upgrade. They're a very cool looking unit um, to me. Kind of simple, but like, nice. I like that style. 
Um, it's a bit weird to like see that in the um, I was about to say in the Warhammer 40k setting. No, Jimmer say in a Tolkien setting, but I think I think they work out. They're they're gonna break immediately. Yeah, poor boys. As much as I talk up more on infantry, you can't trust them to do that. Not in that state. But I think they were just kind of pulling those guys out of position, and now the rest of the swarm is going to do what is what needs to be done. The Black Guard of Baradur are here. I don't know if they're going to be. I would save one unit off them for sure, just in case, just for the when the enemy fall back to their their final position, which is either going to be here or here. I suspect it's going to be here. This is where this is where Valkyrian's got a lot of his like final boys. So yeah, I have seen situations where they hold both, and I love that because you can use the last year ammunition to shoot these guys in the back as they climb up to fight your friends. Uh, I love the idea of like two armies getting split, two opposing well not opposing two friendly captains like holding a uh, hilltop each. Still no no approach across that bridge. Hmm, what's the thing? Numinous Gate Guards. Oh, God. A Numinous Gate Guards, like, alongside Fountain Guard is a god-tier thing. I think all the Fountain Guard are gone, aren't they? That's a shame. Yeah, no. A Numinous Gate Guard fighting alongside Fountain Guard, though, it would be would be a nice thing to see. And yeah, it is, uh, their southern neighbours have, have taken a lot of damage here, but now it is down to the Men of Arnor. And a few Citadel Guards still um, to to finish off this, uh, this force. The Camel's Chosen having a really tough time of it. But I guess fighting uphill like that. Oh, we do have the jabs, though. But they, they are being uh, met by the Arthodyne men-at-arms. All those armor upgrades and Aetomore troll hunters do suffer from that spear mouth. Looks like Buzzard has got them on guard mode, though. So, ooh, they're on guard mode. And then they jumped into the enemy anyway. <sighs> damn, damn, damn. Issue with being spread out like this. I'd probably close my rank. Uh, no, Athelion Rangers. Yeah, keep spread out. It's fair. But when you are spread out, it does mean that you have to be uh, you have to be a bit more careful, I guess, with how you're positioning you guys. There are still 14 Fountain Guard. Yeah, good. They're moving back. I think it's fair Valkyrian is wanting to keep them safe, but I'd probably move them forward just to help finish off those camels. Actually, no. I don't think we need any help here. I'm surprised that those camels chosen, though. Again, just rinsed. This is peace. Like, there's a lot of good quality here. And there are still a few Troll Slayers. Ah, maybe once the Troll Slayers leave, that, can, that might change things. That may change things. Just a few Barrow Whites to go. The Peacekeeper's doing their work. But there's nothing to stop the Javelins now. There's nothing more here. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I, well, what I would probably do is I'd, I'd bite the bullet, close my ranks, come around here and start raining Javs into the back of those Peacekeepers. But, to be honest, nah. Nah, you can do fine with it from here. Yep, just stay there. Unleash hell. I'm interested to why Stegri's pulled these guys back. I would have maybe kept them there. Michelle. More peacekeepers from Stegri coming forward. Any engagement going on here? Yes, a bit. Dunaim shield guard getting stabbed in the back there by the pikes. And ninja kick flipped by the hero line. But Blackguard of Baradur coming forward. Of course, they're a pushing unit mainly, though. Um, they are men at arms when they need to be, but they are made to push. So they need to be fighting alongside other stuff if we can get them. Ort Muller's coming on this way, though. Ah, I was going to see if we could get a backstab, but Stegri's got these pikes here. Stegri's going to be... His attention is going to be pulled here, there, and everywhere right now, though. So he is, um, he is now the main force on the land bridge, and he has got the bulk of the numbers over here as well. Orc Mauler's crashing right into the front of Pikes. You can't... Ooh. Okay, no. I was going to say you can't ask for anything better, but TC's doing the right thing and really getting right into their faces. And you can run through this building, too. Uh, this building is... Uh, well, it's not solid. So... Oh, they're going to break, surely. Yep, they're broken. Ah, damn, damn, damn. A bit too bold, TC. A bit too bold. I, I liked it. I really did like... Because if you... Oh, holy shit. Okay. Kind of eating my words about the Black Guard being on their own here. They're, they're doing some good work. They're doing some really good work. Holy smokes. Uh, they're getting shot like crazy now. And the Elven King Palace Guard are going to be the, be their death knell. But still, I've, I've got some great battles where um, 
you know, they, the defenders just kind of let, let the enemy come in. And they were just hiding inside of all these buildings. <laughs> and there's this beautiful shot where there's just a battle happening here. And then suddenly from out there, like a full unit of out of ammunition Gondorian archers just jump and stack the enemies in the back. It's great. Um, that was a really nice fight. The Warlords of Lumbar, oh god. If they could come back from routing, they're not going to, but imagine if they could. They would be absolutely brutal. Just bam, bam, bam. Whatever you want. Whatever you want to charge, boys, it's yours. We need something. Hmm. Mood our swordsmen, kind of pondering uh, whether they want to end it all. But no, they're here. Um, Dragon's Wrath crossbows. I don't know if there's a place for them. Not yet, anyway. Shadow bows trying their best to say rangers on the attack. Um, can, like, they can work well, but... Oh! Stigri! 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 Stig! Oh, dear. Oh, it's, well, he was hiding them. That's that's amazing. But... He must, where the hell was he hiding then? He must have been, like, here and just gotten really lucky or something. Holy crap. But, no, they're, they're eradicated now. Uh, that must have been a misclick or something like that. Or just just lost please don't break no oh, they might they might still no they should be okay but get them away get them the hell away from those pipes um yeah because you're not really getting cost effective damage there you need to move you need to move stegri he's gonna get caught again i get what this is what i'm talking about his micro is everywhere he's focusing on there he's focusing in the east and now he's got to do the very micro intensive job of watching out for this gray company um, while we still got warlords in existence. Now, the warlords don't want to be hunting down those guys, but they, they can. Uh, they can definitely pull some good charges against them. Oi, oi, oi. Crazy times, crazy times. Uh, zoom, 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 zoom. Yep, now that they're in, watch the Golden Wood going well, alongside the Dundang Peacekeepers. They've got a good surround on these Sentinels. As good as the Sentinels are, as much as I love them in that last battle, they're going to struggle here. Of course, our black guards hurling their jabs over. If they can get those pikes, beautiful stuff. Looks like the attack here has been held back. All like high are still around. Uruk captains and the elites, the harbingers, and I suspect the executioners. Yep, they're all still around. Menace Morgul chosen and a full unit of Belagar pikes with... Uh, with an armor upgrade? I should know. I always give them an armor upgrade. <laughs> So they might have it. They might. But uh, we need it. We could do with them going forward. Elders opening up onto the executioners. That's a damn shame. Um, but that heavy armor should shrug back a lot of that damage. Of course, that high mass, though, is just throwing them around, breaking up the unit, and meaning that they slow down so that they can get another arrow into them. So it's uh, it's going to be a bit messy for the poor boys. But they should make it there in some decent condition. And if nothing else, they've allowed their sacrifices, allowed the Harbingers to get there. It's allowed the Uruk Captains to get there too. Uruk Captains will really enjoy going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the, um, a lot of the armor upgrade to Arthodyne forces. But, uh, you know, with their armor-piercing attacks, they're not going to love fighting the um, the men of Mirkwood or the elves of Mirkwood. Peacekeepers there. Um... Oh, uh, yeah, like it's unfortunate, but there's just not really been a great opportunity for Beastie to use his crossbows, his, his Dragon's Wrath crossbows anyway. So he's just, you know, he's, he's got to take what he can get, and uh, and that's what he's going for here. But um, we'll see. Hopefully he'll, um, he'll get some work done from them. Now we saw the Warlords kind of prepped and ready to go for this, but I think he's pulled that back in order to hunt the Grey Company, which is a good shout. Um, I'd maybe spread my boys out because they, they do have body piercing at the end of the day, but um, up against that heavy armor and the shield, it's not going to be um, not going to be killing our boys too fast but still, it's a good idea to spread Oh, Stegri No, he knows where you are and I don't think he's going to be able to get out in time, nope Nah, he's 18 Nah, nah, he's trying to run away is a shame, but he just doesn't have the have the ability right now. Fraudrum Jabs have popped up. Buzz has got them nice and safe. He's actually got his general in with the Fraudrum Jabs. Interesting. That's why he's got them looked after. Oh god. It's so funny. There's this one thing of stakes that for some reason somebody's put down. I guess in case there was a Sally. Fair. 
Uh, but it'd be so funny if one of these cav units end up getting like swallowed up by that stake. Oh, beastie. Hmm. Are they going to remember where they were? Surely not. Surely they will. We'll see, we'll see. Um, eight more troll hunters still waiting here. Got the archers moving down the hill now. Gate guards. Oh, by the way, in case anybody ever wonders, um, like I, I save every battle. I, I do. You know, it all goes into this little folder. They're very small files, so I can store a million of them. Um, if you ever watch one of the battles and you're like, oh shoot, I really want to know what happens in X, Y, Z. Um, I am more than happy to give you the uh, the file so you can check it out for yourself and um, and look. But um, I would love to go back and like go through battles a few times, of course, but I just can't do that. Uh, double Greenwood Rangers there. But yeah, so just like ask me... Um, preferably on Discord. If just give me a blast on Discord, uh, then I will be more than happy to send it to you. Um, Alice cards over here. There's actually, they've actually taken a real beating. Uh, Temple Execution are a good battle against them. They, they will have killed a lot of the Olakai. But now that this Temple Executioner force is here, backed up by some Minas Morgul Chosen... Oh dear me, Harbingers of Castamere just waiting, waiting their turn. Good. Oh, that's where the, ah, that's where the Soma Man's bald head there. Yep, yeah, that's where the Uruk Captains are as well. So that's probably why the Palace Guard have struggled so much up against all of those elite units. Menace Morgul chosen, kind of breaking open this line, but the Pikes are coming on in now. Oh dear, there's just not enough, and once those Harbingers emerge... It's going to be over. I think Stegri's actually going to get inside this house. <laughs> yeah. There he goes. So he might be forgotten about. Uh, speaking of him being forgotten about, did his cavalry. I think... I don't see any more horses. I think Beastie actually pulled back. Oh, Beastie, come on. Maybe he, maybe he did finish them off, but I don't think he did. Ah, interesting. Interesting stuff. Okay, Warden's Minasethel coming on over. I've not seen these guys fire yet. Actually, no. No, surely they're done. They look like they're kind of ready. They've got their swords out. Yeah, they've, they've used up their ammo. Uh, marksman here. That looks like... So that's definitely Mordor's general dropping there. Degri's marksmen are still around. So this position is still holding. She's saying that. They've broken through the way... Well, yeah, the tide of Angmar has... Uh, has been unleashed and they've uh, they've broken this down. It's interesting to see the ballista get moved here. You very rarely see um, you know siege ammunition for the attackers surviving at this stage. Uh, usually they've used up all their ammunition. That's what I mean by surviving. They they don't use, usually um, equipment is quite safe on uh, on Tophalas. There's a lot of maps where you can kind of guarantee the defenders are going to be able to break your siege equipment. But, uh, but to a flash, you can usually keep it quite safe. Men at arms do okay here. This is, there's a lot of pikes on the attacking force. And now normally these slanted surfaces are quite good. Uh, well, they're, they're quite good for killing pikes. They can't really be used too well. But uh, I don't think it's really slanted enough. Yeah, the pikemen are organizing themselves now. And it's going to be down to just how much ammunition can the, uh, can the defenders keep pouring in here. But Guardians of Karndum, great shields. Nice armor upgrade there too, so gonna be messy looks like they're coming all out though they're not gonna be yet there's no final defense here they're going all out for this uh holding the outer lines which i i do enjoy that tends to be how i like to hold i like to pick a position and just pour my full heart and soul into holding that in all honesty elves of the elven king here harboring is a castamir i would i would expect taking that actually wait holy smokes is that oh no that's too wait is that two units? Or am I, am I just being silly? That's... Okay. Yeah, that's two Elders of the Elven King there. Okay, I was going to say, Harbingers of Casimir should probably be able to take on an Elders of the Elven King. But up against two? Hmm. I don't know about that, sir. Some Belgar archers standing their ground there, but I think that they're about to get eaten. Yeah, Elders moving through these buildings. 
I like to just imagine that they are using the doors in the building. It's not just phasing through it. They are there jumping over walls and, and so on in order to get where they need to go. Pike's getting surrounded now, but holding it very nicely up against these temple executioners. We'd be very grateful for that. Nice full unit of pikes in the late game. Um, not a lot more you can want sometimes. Even like low quality pikes, if you've got a very beefy unit off them, they can be uh, they can be perfect. Armin's a Castamere. Yeah, having a better fight here than I imagined. Nah, I surely they yeah they're they're dropping. Oh god, yeah they're dropping really quick quick from there. Faster than I imagined. Fa way faster than I thought. Um, okay, uh, over here actually there. The elders are having some troubles. That's that's gonna fix itself surely. Or are there are there Nazgul on? I think Temple Executioners, yeah. The Temple Executioners are so badly damaged. Hmm. Still some uh, Uruk Captains. Yep, there's the big man himself. Okay. Pike sorting themselves out. They'll be coming on in. Just need to make sure they don't get flanked. And you should get some good kills out of them. They're kind of sacrificing that. No. Uh, oh, that's a... Oh my god, 93... Oh, that's such a shame, but I guess it's just the density of enemy units that were there, uh, and that just broke them. Wards of the North are in there too, though. Oh, dearie me, that's a, that's a shame for the, uh, for the defenders to lose that many uh, troops. Whoop. Perfect. Very nice. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, no, Y2K's done really... He's done He's done a lot of work with that, uh, with that ballista. He can be very chuffed with himself, I feel. I think we're getting shot by um, some body piercing ammo as well. Oh god, ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, shadow bows opening up into those Arthodine marksmen. Oh dear me. Yeah, maybe we need to fall back, guys. I think I think we maybe need to sacrifice this position because we're getting pounded by a lot. Yeah. Oh, they did actually come forward. Yeah, they did. Interesting, okay. Erendine Berserkers still holding their ground there. Been there a while. Forward from Javs with the General moving up. These poor guys, it looks like they must have routed and they just got grabbed by uh oh, no, they did actually kill somebody. Could have been fighting to the death though. Uh that sort of kill ratio kill to death ratio is sort of what you'd expect. Oh god, that's ten elders bolting back. Hopefully they stop routing. Ah Oh dear. Yeah, now that these warlords are free, we need to fall back. We need to, Oh, God. That's such a shame. Yep, they're broken too. Good move, beastie. Um, We need to get up here. We need to get up here or get up here. Uh, something I should state, as always. Um, Especially when it comes to a lot of the uh, Guardians of Chaos clan, because a lot of them do have their have YouTube channels. So I would always recommend um, checking them out to make sure to see if they've done this battle. As as it as of my recording, I'm pretty sure that nobody has. Um, if they have done, I'll have a quick check, and hopefully it'll be in the description. But I don't believe that anybody has done this battle. So, um, uh, Beastie, of course, he might uh, he might end up doing it at some point. And if he does, I will update update the description. But I always get um, I'm sure everybody knows how YouTube generally works nowadays, and I'm not by any means an expert. But um, I always get like 90% of my views within the first two days. And after that, it's just sort of a trickle. You know, so it's always, um, I mean, it's nice. It's, it's good in a way. Uh, oh, goodness me. That poor ranger. Did we, <laughs> did you guys see that? Who do the hell? It was all like 140 nax right into that one poor ranger. I mean, the d dude did work, you know, like uh, using up that ammo. That's, that is more than we could have asked for our routing ranger to do for us. Uh, so that's super duper. But, um, yeah, so I get like 90% of my views within the first two days. And um, and then apart from that. But there is this constant, like, trickle. And sometimes randomly, like, YouTube will just drop something on top of me. It's like, hey, dude, this random video you uploaded, like, two years ago. You know, <laughs> it's suddenly going to get a bunch of views. And it's like, oh, <laughs> how's this happened? But, yeah. Um, no, that was, a, that was one army surrendering. I suspect it was maybe Merkwood. I think it was probably Proxima Centuri. If not, it might have been Stegri. Um, don't know what Stegri has left. 
Oh no, no, it wasn't Segri. I think it was probably Proximity Centauri. I think his elders, yeah, his elders aren't going to be coming back. I, there's no counter. There's no counter to these these warlords now. Ouch. He's got good surround there. Well done, Valkyrian. And he's going to get away, but he's going to suffer a bit of hit point damage. He's going to lose some numbers. Holy smokes. Ouch. Good stuff, veterans. They might... Oh, my God. Okay, then. I was about to absolutely just put the casket on the defenders there, but taking that out... I mean, it's not saved them, of course, but there's still this swarm, but that was a, that was good. Um, Nimlothian Oregard were coming in to try and sort the situation out, but yeah. Um, oh, that... Oh, I don't know. Ooh, don't know who that would be. Um, good. Yeah, that's them smashing on in there. Thillian Rangers doing what they can. We've seen these golden bolts coming in, still into the Arthodine Marksman. Um... Everybody else running back. We've only got 2,000 frames, so I think they they've, they can't really run up there now if they wanted to even. So they'll just do what they can and hopefully go down fighting. Yeah, you see Czech Norse is blocking that off, which is smart, just because if they ran up there, then they could really... They could make a good go of it. Even just with these, like, two units. They could, uh, they could block that up and have quite an efficient defense. But just Czech Norse putting some troops there to block it off is good. I think Valkyrian could have run up there if he wanted to, but he just, like, he can see the writing on the wall, and I think he's just like, yeah, I, I'm just going to go down fighting, which is nice. It's really is good when, good when folks do that. Um, but it's also nice to just keep pushing until you are absolutely dead. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, yeah, both, both is good. Um, oh, good. Double. We got triple, triple. Oh, my God. We had three of them going on at once. It's crazy how you just don't see them for like the entire battle and then one moment you see them all over the place. Uh, another admit defeat, that was probably Stegri. I don't think I had anything left, so. It's just the veterans there. Nimlothian Owner Guard. I'll probably hover over the Nimlothian Owner Guard for the end of this. So that was pretty damn good. 87. And I think by, by the time the Nimlothian Owner Guard are gone. Oh! What? Was it him? That, did he admit defeat? Oh, wow. Well done. This f I don't know. A pax. That's, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate for Valkyria. Yes, the Nazgul are scary. Yeah, the Temple Executioners probably provide fear as well, but it shocks me that, like, one backstab there. And, yeah, no. I, I get it. I get it. But, like, still, that, that's unfortunate for Valkyrian. Um, 88. Certainly not too bad uh, for the defenders. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, for the defenders there. Um, so that was super duper. Um, one thing. So, um, I will do my bloody best to actually play the dang game a bit more. I've just, um, like, work rota has just been, like, more draining than I imagined it would be. So a lot of the time, like... I want to record. I don't really want to, because I really enjoy doing this. It's the thing. Like, it's not. Um, it's a lot of fun to uh, to do these battles, and that's why I would always recommend to people like just do it. Just you know, you know, you don't have to make a thing of it, but it's always it's fun to just make a few little videos and just see um, see it from a different perspective. And um, so I really I I, I love doing this. But, um, and it's all easier than just jumping on and actually playing sometimes. So, um, so yeah, I would, um, but I will make an effort to play some games because that'd be nice. Uh, for now though, I do need to request some more battles because I'm actually getting kind of near the end. Because usually, of course, I'll take what people give me and then I'll be supplementing it with my own battles. And that like builds up quite a nice stack. But for, for I, I'm running out unfortunately so i i could really do with uh if anybody's got a few battles I'd, I'd really appreciate it um i don't mind if you send them to other people really don't nah like it's it is what it is um let me know please if you if you've sent it to umad or if you sent it to scout let me know you've done that but um i'll i yeah i'm okay with that um send it to me too please <laughs> if you don't mind uh anyway we got bc so uh pretty 
Understandable kills here. Anything standing out? Good stuff from the crossbows. Nice. I was worried about them. They actually did rack up some good kills. And then the warlords there at the end. Um, surprised that they were able to be wiped out by the um, by those uh, veterans of Gilead. That was surprising. TC did pretty nicely. Uh, really good. Really good work from the um, uh, Blackguard Parathur. I thought they would get eradicated. Chick Norris absolutely loved what Chick Norris did a lot of the time through that. That was super duper. Um, yeah, Buzzard kind of disagreed with a lot of the uh, the initial like sh um, stuff. Uh, a lot of the initial like throwing axes and the like, but but no, kind of sorted himself after that. And um, and yeah, was just a super duper um, just damage dealer on the front line there, uh, alongside the charge of um, the Men of Ruin. Um, Y2K, of course, beautiful uh, ballista play throughout, and then coming screaming forward at the end. A nice early use of the barrel lights, too, is always useful. Um, Valkyrian, yeah, super duper. Stegby actually packed up so many prisoners there, but anyway, yeah, so Valkyrian was alone for a long while there. Um, I think he maybe could have done with a bit of support a bit earlier, but he did pour his heart and soul into that defense, so. Um, like, he was his whole army there, so it's fair enough. He, he, he did well. He did very well. And exactly 19,000... Well, sorry, exactly 1,900. And uh, then there, 19,000. That could have gone very differently if there were 19,000 Gondorians standing by. Uh, Stegri, yeah, definitely saw where he was needed. Split his attention a lot. And I think that that might have been his end. That was kind of his undoing. Um... Because I think there were definitely moments where, where we were seeing little goofs here and there, which was just because, yeah. And had we gotten some some more effective use out of the Grey Company, this could have gone differently. Um, Proximate Centuri as well. It was kind of like, he, he was very aggressive in his early defense, which was super. And it kind of did, it really hurt the attack across the bridges, across across the, the Valley of Death, as I like to call it. Um, no, and it was... Um, so that was nice. It, it meant that the gang could focus a lot more on the other side, even though he was kind of gone and kind of unlucky. It was just unlucky that he got through with the warlords and and was able to start smashing up the elders because had those elders been able to do all of the killing that they needed to do, yeah. But, so the defenders could have, and maybe, maybe the defenders should have fallen back to a hilltop earlier. Um, I think they could have definitely justified doing it because they did fight hard on the outer edges and if they if they had fallen back to a hilltop maybe things could have gone differently but yeah anyway um thank you guys i'll see you later